it's been a while it's been a very long time keyblade master i don't know what i'm saying yo this is clawburn 9057 and i'm just gonna be calling myself that from now on because i can't stop calling myself that and welcome to another unboxing this time i'm gonna be unboxing kingdom hearts 1.5 and 2.5. Not that Kingdom Hearts up there that looks like, uh, if you see closely, looks like Dream Drop Distance and bullshit. No, we're gonna be unboxing the actual Kingdom Hearts. Not the PS3 version, but the, the actual Kingdom Hearts. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm excited. So, pretty much, Kingdom Hearts has been re released, uh, by. You know, Square Enix, 60 frames per second on the PS4. And um, as you can see, I got my little Keyblade ready. I'm probably going to put that by my chair or something while I'm playing the game. Every time I defeat an enemy, I'm going to do like a victory pose or something. So that's there. And, um, oh God, you just, you guys just saw, uh, you guys just saw the, um, the bottles on the floor. I need to pick, I'm going to pick those up. I need to clean my room more um but anyway it's been so long since i did a kingdom hearts unboxing well not very just one month long and uh, i just wanted to get to it just want to you know play my game got my uh zaxby's ready me uh got sour patch so let's get on to it. Let me go ahead and get my little Swiss Army knife. Unbox this box. Uh, also, as you can see, it's placed in the same box as the Square Enix store. Yeah, for some reason, uh, the limited edition wasn't available outside of Square Enix. So I had to pay a little bit uh, more, about $7 more to be exact. Or I think maybe 10 to uh, $9 to get limited edition. But nevertheless, you know, I, I just wanted to go ahead and get to it. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and open this box, and we will go straight into the unboxing itself and the contents within. So here we go. Give me a second, and I'll be right up with you. So as you can see, I popped this motherfucker open <laughs> like it was a, a little chest. I, I used my little keyblade here. Um, <laughs> so, um, uh, pop it open. Hope you guys didn't see my dress and all. Probably dead. Who cares? Nobody's gonna watch this. And here's the contents inside. You got the. You just get the game, really, and that's pretty much it. Oh, it looks so nice. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and place this right there on the bed. And of course, you get just other box content that nobody cares about. I'm just gonna put it. I got no shame. I'll put it right beside my uh, door full of bullshit. Um, so let's get to. The actual package here you have the uh, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 uh, game itself it's fairly sim similar to uh, the one over there it, it has no uh, like alterations whatsoever um, you probably see my reflection in the mirror uh, well sorta and it's rated E10 for age 10 and up. You got the uh, side here, Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 and 2.5 remix. And on the side, you don't got anything else at all. Now, the major thing is uh, ordering it digitally netted you a nice theme, which would have been the limited edition. If you got this version, you do not get the theme. And I just want to point that out. If you get this version, um, I don't know if you get it off eBay. Because, uh, you know, you can't order it now. Or anywhere else. You cannot get um, the theme. Which sucks, but it's okay. Because from what I've heard, or from what I've played in Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 on the PS3. You could just play through the game, and then you get a free theme. It, the the game like shoots you to the store. Um, this can be confirmed by my best friend JFag or J Money, and uh, he has beat Kingdom Hearts, uh, a fragmentary passage, and uh, yeah, you get a theme. So, uh, in short, get this version if you can, and you will be happier. Um, of course, on the bottom you have limited edition, and on the top you have limited edition. Uh, right here you have. 
all the games and the spectacularness or whatever. Uh, it's pretty much the same exact thing. I don't know why it's not clear. There you go. Focus. Um, you get all this never released elsewhere. It's not going to be so pretty much this box and you don't get you get a two inch metal enable which looks nice it has both Sora and um, Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora on there which completes my set because you know that's why I got the hat right there um anyway you got all these games and they're fully remastered now right here it's 50 gigabytes so uh, you can use an external hard drive which I got my things bumped up so uh yeah you should make sure you have those if not then uh get on it <laughs> unlock the key to your system so here i'm just gonna go ahead and unbox the metal uh, the little wrapping paper show you the inside show you the, the uh button itself and that's it i don't know why it keeps uh, unfocusing so give me a second i'm just gonna go ahead and tear off the plastic like a boss so you give me a shirt. As you can see, you have the smelly wrap. The smelly wrap is gone. Um, I'm going to reward myself with one of these uh, chewies. I should have reviewed this just for the lows. Um, get these things. These things are explodes or whatever. Delicious, delicious candies. Mm. Gotta eat one. I didn't want to let you guys hear me smacking like a goat or a monkey. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, let's get to. The last preparation, which is unboxing the box. So, what you want to do is you want to carefully just look at the box and see where it opens from. Open from the side. So, give me a second. Oh, oh, God damn it! Give me a second, and I will open it from the side. So, I'll open it from the side, and this is what you get. Of course, in the back, it displays it. I'm not gonna leave that. I'm gonna actually put it on my hat. Uh, I got it on three sets of hats, and I'll show you that, guys that if you want to see it or stay for the uh, little extra, you can. So as you can see, you got the game and the pins right in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull both of these out, and I will show you in a second. So here you have the button itself. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show that. I'm probably gonna put it on my persona. Um, I'm gonna either put it on my hat or my persona. Uh, my Persona book bag, which I will be doing an unboxing of, the uh, Take Your Heart edition. That's not out yet, but uh, hopefully I'll get that out there. So here you have the Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 autofocus. There we go. 1.5 and 2.5 uh, case, and of course you get a box, an enamel, and that's pretty much it. You get the same exact thing on the back. The only difference is... This one has like some sort, it just has, you know, the Japanese artwork box. That's it. So, um, I'm just gonna. Oh! Sorry, I just like smelling the shit out of this stuff. But I only got 12, almost 12 minutes left or gone before this thing ends. So, give me a second, I really rush it. So, I didn't want to, um, waste anybody's time. Here's what you get you get the available now. I already got that, I already got an upload of, uh, that version, I even got it sitting on my stand. Um, you get advertisements for the other game to finish the story. And uh, you got Soar and uh, Soar 2.5 sitting at the side. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to show you guys just as a bonus, because I always did, I keep doing this with each one. Um, I don't know why Square sort of like they didn't put it in a metal case. Um, but here is the different artworks if you want to know. This is, the, of course, the PS3 versions. And, um, yeah, it's in a metal case, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, it's my prized possession. Also, the artwork in itself looks different for the PS3 versions. Um, for on 2.5 or whatever. On the right would just have Sora looking like that. On the left would have Sora looking like that. On that disc and on, you know, retrospective disc. I just wanted to show this as a little bonus thing. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. We're almost done. Last part before um, we go. Just showing off the pen. So, you get the pen. The pen itself. This amazing 
pen. So let's look at this. So as you can see, um, this is the pen itself. It looks glossy and looks pretty nice. It's a metal enamel. And of course you got the Mickey Mouse things on the back. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all you get for the limited edition. Um, I'm glad Square decided to release it on PS4. It is extraordinary. Look at the gamer drawing if you want to see all the other stuff on it. I'm going to promote him, of course. It's all blurry. And um, stay tuned. I'm going to, uh, in about five seconds or so, I'm going to basically get cut off. Because I'm going to show you um, something about my... Yo, okay, I'm back. I got cut off. Um, this is the thing I do with my hats. I'm gonna go ahead and move that. Um, like, I don't know why, but I have this thing where I love to put little buttons or whatever to make myself look a little teeny bit hipster. But, uh, I put, uh, the Kingdom Hearts, uh, 2.8 on, you know, I replaced this button because it used to be on this, but, you know, the flashy pink and the uh, Mickey Mouse, you know, going for sore kind of clashed with the colors and it had yeah you know it it just looked better on this hat um i also put it on this hat and finally we're all infected we're all infected with the light i will be talking about from now on with my friends i'm gonna put the final button on this hat and possibly put this button on my persona book bag but most likely not because this is a rare pin uh limited edition pen and i really want to keep it so that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed clobbering out thanks for watching um hope you enjoyed the video and uh, spicy stay spicy that's just stupid later i'm out of camera time just go away i'm about to go eat my zaxby's bye bye